In order to get the most out of your Ergo Express Patient Transport Chair, or PTC, and ensure its safe operation, please watch the following. First, familiarize yourself with the control panel. To turn the PTC on, turn the key switch in a counterclockwise direction. The battery light on the control panel will illuminate. The reverse LED indicates the direction the PTC will travel when you engage the throttle. The top speed control dial allows you to set the top speed of the PTC. Turn it to the left for the slowest top speed and to the right for the fastest. The belly bump switch will stop the PTC immediately after being engaged. Second, familiarize yourself with the handle controls. The two throttle levers next to the handlebars are used to control the speed of the drive motor. When either is squeezed, the PTC will move in the direction determined by the reverse indicator lamp. The brake system engages automatically when the power is on and the speed controls are not depressed. Included in the many features of the PTC is the swivel seat for easy access. Before loading or unloading patients, first depress the foot lever which locks the chair in place. This keeps the chair from rotating while transferring patients in or out of the chair. Next, unlock the lever, then swivel the seat. Before moving the patient, make sure the seat swivels to its front position. Now release the foot lever. There's also a seat belt for added safety. The optional IV stand hook holds the IV so you keep two hands free to operate the chair. The optional height adjustable leg rests also keep the patient comfortable. Pull the lever to release the leg rest for the patient to get in or out of the PTC. Next, practice driving in an open, flat area free of pedestrians. To start, simply turn the key counterclockwise to the on position. You're ready to go when the indicator light is illuminated. Check the reverse indicator light to make sure you're going in the correct direction. If the battery light blinks during operation, refer to the owner's manual for troubleshooting tips or call tech support. Position yourself behind the control panel with both hands on the handle grips. You'll use the fingers from one hand to operate the throttle lever. Remember to gently engage the lever to avoid starting too quickly. Once moving, you can release the lever and the PTC will come to a stop approximately one second after the release. Stop the PTC and press the reverse button. The reverse indicator light will illuminate. Drive the PTC in the reverse direction with one hand on the controller. Be careful in reverse when operating with the patient. While the PTC is moving in either direction, engaging the belly bump switch immediately and abruptly stops the PTC. Perform a few starts and stops to become familiar with the throttle lever. Practice slow speed operation and fast speed operation until you're comfortable maintaining constant speeds. When cornering, your control increases when you release the throttle lever slightly and go slower. Change the top speed control a few times to become familiar with its operation. Try operating the PTC at both its minimum and highest level. Use the minimum speed in tight areas, elevators, and high population areas. The top speed control can be adjusted while the PTC is in motion. When the PTC must be moved while electrical power is unavailable or if disabled, perform the following procedure. Turn the key switch to the off position. Locate the brake disengagement lever under the seat. Disengage the brake by rotating the brake lever about 20 degrees. Do not release the brake when the PTC is located on an incline. The lever should be hand-operated only. Operating the lever in any other way could damage the brake. Once the brake is off, you can manually push your PTC. To charge the batteries in your PTC, follow these guidelines. Position the PTC near a standard 110 volt outlet. Pull the cord, then plug it into the outlet. During charging, the blinking light means the battery is fully charged. The battery should be charged whenever the PTC is parked and not in use. The system has a smart charger, so the batteries will not overcharge. 
There is no need to cycle the PTC batteries. A full charge will take approximately 3 to 8 hours depending on your battery options. Battery life depends on proper charging practices. Repeatedly fully discharging the batteries will result in a reduced life. Avoid operating the PTC when the charge level is low. As batteries wear out, their ability to hold a charge decreases. PTC batteries must be replaced yearly as part of your PTC's annual maintenance to avoid electrical system damage. Review these steps if your PTC will not operate. Verify that the PTC power cord is not plugged into an electrical outlet. This automatically disables the PTC. Verify that the brake override is set to the engaged position for the system to operate. If the brake is disengaged, the PTC is automatically disabled. To reset the control system, turn the power key switch to off. Wait 15 seconds, then turn it to the on position. Lights on the control panel should illuminate. If no lights are illuminated, or if the battery light continues blinking, contact tech support. If the PTC must be moved without power, refer to the non-powered operation section. Need more help? Call tech support 24-7, 888-639-5438. Follow the voice prompts until you reach tech support.